Hi there. For this week and um, possibly future weeks practicals, you're going to be using a piece of software called Tracker. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and how to get going with analyzing a video. So um, let's get started. First, I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to go to um, fizzlets.org slash tracker. This is a piece of software written by Douglas Brown. Um, he has a Windows, a Mac, and a Linux version. So I'm going to click on Windows because I happen to be on a PC. Now double click on that. Next, accept, next, might as well uh, put the collection of videos, tracker, next, okay, it's installing. And launch tracker. Here it is. Okay, um, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features. I'm going to allow access. Okay. So, now I need a video. So to get a video, let's record one using the actual camera here on my laptop. So I can click the camera app. Um, there's an option here for me to take a video. Look at the options. Um, it looks like this is going to be a 30 frame per second, 720 pixel uh, video, so that's good. Um, so there I am. So what I'm going to do, uh, there's a chalkboard, and what I happen to have is a one meter stick. Uh, it's, I know that that's one meter long. And I also have a tennis ball, so I'm going to take a video of me just throwing the tennis ball. So let's click uh, record. Again. Obviously, you might have to do a couple of trial and errors. Um, let's just use that one. Okay, so now I'm going back to Tracker. Go to File. Uh, to find wherever that thing went. I think it would have gone for me into pictures, camera roll, there it is. And whatever time I did that, which is probably that one. A lot of frames, it was kind of long, but only a few of them are gonna have the actual uh, data I want. Whoops. Okay. So, we can now play what I just did there. <laughs> There's a whole lot of fussing around. Hit the wall. That wasn't good. <laughs> Dropped it. I think, what? That's where I knocked down the, <laughs> the meter stick. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy's a clown. Okay. Let's see if we can get it here. So... I'll drag that over. So that'll be the beginning. And then drag this to be the end. I want to just have the free fall part. So I press play, it goes up, and it comes down. Okay. Next thing I need to do is add a track. So let's track. Actually, the first thing I have to do is add a calibration. So calibration tool, I'm going to add a calibration stick. So it says end one, shift click to make. So I'm going to actually zoom in on this a little bit. Uh, there, I can 
use my mouse wheel to zoom it a little bit. So what I want to do to make this calibration stick is end one, shift click, and then end two, shift click, and that makes a uh, one meter stick, so it fills in some random number there. I'm going to call that 1.0 meters. Okay, good. Next thing I want is a uh, coordinate axis coordinate system. I can put the coordinate axis right there. Okay, and now I want to create a track. I'm going to create a new um, point mass. Okay, so I can click on track control and I can go over to where I want it to where I think the ball is. It's sort of smeared out, isn't it? I'm going to put it at the, sort of towards the beginning of where the ball is. Shift. If I hold down shift, it turns like that and I click. It's not sticky keys. It automatically advances to the next frame. So again, shift. I'm going to go to the front of where the blur is. And I keep going to kind of where the front of where the blur is. And I'm just going to keep clicking through. Okay. I think we've done it. And I can rewind it, press play. Okay. That's the X position. We can click on Y position. Looks like that. Nice little parabola. That's good. We can also click on V sub Y and you get sort of a straight line. And if I double click on this, it brings me up an analyze window and I can even click on analyze and do a curve fit. That automatically fits through. And what's interesting here is that I've got V equals A uh, times T plus B. And it says that A, the slope is negative 1.054 E1, so times 10 to the one. So you may want to think about what that means. And it also gives me the standard error, plus or minus uh, 0.45. And I guess that's also um, times E1. So that's a lot of scatter there. So that gets you started with Tracker.